Yo, what's up, guys? So we were watching Game of Thrones, which hurts. Uh, because we are <laughs> almost hurts. done with this awesome series. Three more episodes. I know we we're supposed to do this one and the next one together but we're not gonna do that we're gonna do them one at a time it's not gonna make it slower or anything but we just want to make sure that we get done with this episode and then talk about it and then we'll record the next one and talk about it because right. when we stack them on top of each other we sort of miss some information don't yes we? yeah we forget about things especially in the previous episode so thank you guys so much for the support i just want you guys to know this has been a lot of fun for us yes and it's been an absolute blast these characters will stick in my cranium for the rest of my life for Absolutely. sure so ready yes let's go guys. i don't know if i am though anyway yeah I don't know because this happen. title right here, I don't know about it. There's you know what I'm saying? Three more, and guys, I can't help but look at these thumbnails, and this last one was Ooh. crazy as hell. Y'all know what I'm saying? But we'll see what happens. The last of the Starks, jeez. I thought this would change because like winter ain't coming no more, right? Well, it's not. It's not doing the thing. It did change. Before there were, you oh. guys know what I'm saying. It was showing that it was like coming. Tell me I'm coming. <laughs> Are you trying to sound like Conor McGregor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, tell him I'm coming. Right. It does sort of feel like a different show with this opening, doesn't it? Right. I don't even know what's about to happen in, in the show right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I had the other opening memorized. Jingling, jingling. I'm gonna miss that. I hope they have something like that in House of Dragons. House of the Dragon. House of the Dragon. We're working on that because apparently. Why don't they just name it House of Dragons so everyone would just have a decent time with it? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all wrong for this. All the people called him Sir Friend Zone in the comments. They were wrong for that. I hope we learned our lesson. Live in the friend zone, die in the friend zone. It really just sucks though because. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Theon like protected her from Ramsey. That might have been the best moment of the series so far. That music cueing with Theon. Oh. I'll start, baby. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. We're here to say goodbye to our brothers and sisters, to our fathers and mothers, our fellow men and women who set aside their differences. You okay, baby? To fight <laughs> together and die together so that others might live. Everyone in this world owes them a debt that can never be repaid. It is our duty and our honor to keep them alive in memory for those who come after us. It really and is. And those who come after them. Like, you gotta keep it alive, baby. Mm -hmm. For as long as men draw breath. Never let them forget. They were the shields that guarded the realms of men. Okay. And we shall never see their like again. Oh, the Night's Watch quote. Those are some pretty incredible like B characters, weren't they? Yeah. They really were. Game of Thrones A through F characters are fire. I bet they're all just gonna burn from now on. The bodies for good. It's just tradition in the north. The snow's too hard to be burying people. Oh, facts. But you're right. Burn people from now on, there can never be another army of the dead. Did you find it kind of odd that John was given that speech and not Daenerys? Well, yeah. Hey, she's supposed to be in charge. Yeah. <laughs> But I guess she was like a part of the fire burning part, so she gave it to him. You saw all synchronized. This is like season one. What a boring like dinner. BC and I, you can still smell the burning bodies, and that's where your head is at. I just want to thank her. For I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about that. Of course, it's about that. You twat. Why shouldn't it be? Dead or dead, you're not. Then why are you hating? I know. Sourpuss. Gendry. That's right, isn't it? Picking on Baratheons. Called out. Yes, Your Grace. You're Robert Baratheon's son. You are aware he took my family's throne and tried to have me murdered. I didn't even know he was my father until after he was dead. Yes, <laughs> he's dead. His brothers are too. So who's Lord of Storm's End now? I don't know, Your Grace. Does anyone? Mm-mm. I think you should be Lord of Storm's End. <laughs> that threw me off too. He said, what? I can't be, I'm a bastard. No, you are Lord Gendry Baratheon of Storm's End, the lawful son of Robert Baratheon. Put it in writing. That is what I have made you. Oh, okay. Okay. Promotion. To Lord Gendry Baratheon of Storm's End. Good job, Gendry. Got your name wrong all season. A fitting reward for a hero. And a lord of storms, then, to be 
you forever loyal to you. See? Ally. Woo-hoo. You're not the only one who's clever. Yeah, but like, don't the Baratheons kind of have like throne ambitions? What if his kids are like, yeah, what kind of want to cause trouble? Well, yeah, Is it I mean, Robert yeah. Rage a Rebellion? Yeah, that is true. We fought dead things and left to talk about it. <laughs> this isn't the time to drink. When is? She's a knight now. She doesn't have time to drink with you, Jamie. Maybe she does. Last time I saw her, I told her I'd kill her if I ever saw her again. So you had your reason. Melisandre? I, I do. So did you? Never got the chance. She did it to herself. Or her god did it to her. Lord of Light. We play his game from. We fight his war and win. And then he fucks off. <laughs> no signs, no blessings. Who knows what he wants? I don't imagine thinking about that subject will leave you any happier than before. And what if I'm not trying to be happy? Then you're in luck. I may have defeated them. Still have us to contend with. Oh, so it's back to the Game of Thrones? Is that their way I of know. like I feel much dismissing better. that story? <laughs> Why do you get what I'm saying? Didn't it kind of feel like that? <laughs> yeah. I don't ask questions. Just forget about it. <laughs> We're alive. Forget about it. This is clever. Even better than the saddle I designed for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the same as the one Darren Targaryen built for his crippled nephew 120 years ago. Oh, wow. I liked that one. You know so our advanced. history better than anyone. That would be useful as Lord of Winterfell. I'm not Lord of Winterfell. You're the only surviving trueborn son of Ned Stark. That ain't Ned Stark's son. That's Edgar Allan Poe's son. <laughs> I envy you. You shouldn't envy me. Mostly I live in the past. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> What? <laughs> that was goofy. Come on. No, not in one go. Go on. I believe so in Bran lives you. In the have past, to celebrate our victory. Vomiting is not celebrated. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of Valhalla right <laughs> here. The Dragon Queen. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> you like have to chug a the horn. Arya Stark, the hero of Winterfell. Woohoo, Arya. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't Danny get any love? <laughs> but hey, Danny, thanks for sacrificing so much to be here. Yeah, thanks for Your sacrificing turn. one dragon. Uh, you are an only child. <laughs> I told you I was. You didn't. I did. I surmised. <laughs> Drink. Go again. Why does he get to go again? Because it's my game. Oh, okay. You have danced with friendly Baratheon. She Call told back. you that. Drink. I saw him riding that thing. We all did. No. Oh, I saw him riding that thing. That's right, you did. I did. That's why we all agreed to follow him. That's the kind of man he is. Ah oh, man, I see what's going he's on. He's little, <laughs> but he's strong. <laughs> strong enough to befriend an enemy and get murdered for it. Most people get bloody murdered. They stay that way. <laughs> Not this <True>. one. <laughs> uh, I didn't have much say in that. He comes back, keeps fighting. Here, north of the wall, and then back here again. He keeps <laughs> fighting. He keeps Cut fighting. Cut That's who I want telling stories about me when I die. And fought. <laughs> what kind of person climbs on a fucking dragon? A madman or a king? Mm. Or Daenerys. She's like, I climb on dragons. Aw, like... oh, but she's like, yeah, here's your credit, buddy. Nah, man. She said, go ahead, John. Vouch for me. Nothing. Varys understands what's going on. Aww. I kind of feel bad because she looks around and she sees strangers in a way. Mm. She? And she's like, how am I going to get their respect to ever rule over these people when they don't, I'm not even the topic of their conversation. Run, 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 drink. <laughs> <laughs> you were married before Sansa. Drink. Mm. They're having so much fun. <laughs> You're drinking wine, but you prefer ale. No! <laughs> <laughs> Cersei would never play this with them. Imagine. <laughs> I thought Pod had the rod. Press at no point in the past up until this very moment have you. Wasn't he a ladies' man, man Podrick? Yeah, but I think he was drinking because it was awkward. <laughs> oh. He didn't get asked the question. I have to piss. We did it! We faced those icy fucks. Oh, oh no. Right into their blue eyes, and here we are. Now, which one of you cowards shit in my pants? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Please pardon me for a moment. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? Oh, poor Dorman. Oh. 
He said, drink up, buddy. Oh. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> Poor guy. The fucker comes north and takes her from her. Just takes her like that. I mean it again. My heart is broken. <laughs> Don't touch me. You can touch me. <laughs> I'm not afraid of wild things. Maybe you should be. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like Mr. Grabs. <laughs> it's time to drown our sorrows. There's only one thing that'll make me happy. And what's that? That's my fucking business. Have some respect, though. Used to be you couldn't look at me. That was a long time ago. I've seen much worse than you since then. <laughs> yes, I've heard. Had you were broken in. Had you were broken in rough. And he got what he deserved. I gave it to him. <laughs> oh. Hounds. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic, right? <laughs> You've changed, little bird. Oh, not little bird. Yeah, she was so little last time they None of encountered each other. If you left King's Landing but they called her little dove, no little didn't finger. they? No Ramsey, none of it. Without little finger and Ramsey and the rest, I would have stayed a little bird all my life. She said the trials and tribulations. But yeah, I mean, we need a strong lady in, uh, in Winterfell for sure. That'll help. I can imagine they just feel like they just survived an apocalypse. <laughs> like <Yeah>. what? <laughs> Not only survived it, they fought. I know. <laughs> All thanks to this chick right here. It's night time. It's freezing and everyone's celebrating. You should be celebrating with them. I am celebrating. She's in the gym. Mm -hmm. I'm not Genji Rivers anymore. I'm Genji Baratheon, Lord of Storm's End, by order of the Queen. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know how to be lord of anything. I hardly know how to use a fork. <laughs> All I know is that you're beautiful. And I love you. And none of it will be worth anything if you're not with me. So be with me. Arya. Arya Baratheon, though? I don't My know. Wife. Be the lady. She said early in the series she doesn't want to do all that. Right. You'll be a wonderful lord. And any lady would be lucky to have you. But I'm not a lady. I never have been. That's not me. I love that. Yeah, and then she be... gets back to work. It's going to be hard to replace her. Yeah. He better She's go marry unique. Sansa. Nah, that ain't his type. That's not him. He likes bloody legends who murder Nikings. Not I Jamie. Drink. I drank. In the game. This is Dornish. This is not the game. This is only drinking. Suit yourself. Keep it warm enough in here. <laughs> Slick. I learned when I came to the north. Keep a fire going. Every time you leave the room, put more wood on. Well, that's very diligent. Very responsible. <laughs> Piss off. You know the first thing I learned in the north? I hate the fucking north. It grows on you. I don't want things growing on me. How about Tormund Giantsbane? Has he grown on you? Jealous. Jealous, that's what I'm about to say. It's very sad when you left. You sound quite jealous. I do, don't I? It's bloody hot in here. Oh, move aside. <laughs> what are you doing? Taking your shadow. Bruh, is this happening for real? I no can't shot. believe it. I can't believe it. I really never would have thought. There was a point where I like wanted this to happen, but then I like didn't. <laughs> you kind of wanted Tormund to slide up? I don't know about that. I just didn't. I don't know. I felt like if he was just going to stick with Cersei, just dag him do it. You know what I'm saying? Well, we left. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, like when he went back? Yeah. Yeah. I've never slept with a knight before. <laughs> <laughs> I've never slept with anyone before. Then you have to drink. Those are the rules. I told you. Dang, you see me on the tiptoes? That'd be tough. Are you drunk? Are you drunk? <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> no. <laughs> Only a little. I didn't know Sajura well. But I know this. If he could have chosen a way to die, it would have been protecting you. I thought the same thing. He loved me. And I couldn't love him back. Not the way he wanted. Not the way I love you. Dang, so she came out and said it, huh? Oh. And she knew it the whole time and still sort of used him. We finally got Jamie moving on from this action. Here comes John. You're like my aunt. I wish you'd never told me. If I didn't know, I'd be happy right now. I try to forget. Tonight I did for a while. And then I saw them gathered around you. I saw the way they looked at you. I know that look. So many people have looked at me that way, but never here. Aww. Never on this side of the sea. That's what I was saying. She I might should have stayed want. over there. It doesn't matter what you want. You didn't want to be king in the north. What happens when they demand you press your claim and take what is mine? I refuse. 
You are my queen. I don't know what else I can say. You can say nothing to anyone ever. Never tell them who you really are. Swear your brother and Samuel Tali to secrecy and tell no one else. Or it will take on a life of its own and you won't be able to control it or what it does to people. That's no true. matter how many times you bend the knee, no matter what you swear, I want it to be the way it was between us. I have to tell Sansa and I. Sansa will want to see me gone and you on the Iron Throne. She, she already does. <laughs> she's not the girl he grew up with. Not after what she's seen. She got attacked by a three-headed monster. Little finger Cersei and Ramsay. I owe them the truth. And Joffrey. And if the truth destroys us. It won't. It will. I've never begged for anything. But I'm begging you. Don't do this. Please. You are my queen. Nothing will change that. And they're my family. We can live together. We can. I've just told you how. By not telling anybody. She she has a point though, man, because the minute they figure out, they're gonna look for every reason to like make her claim Ill illegitimate. Well, yeah. And make his legitimate. Well, it kind of would make his legitimate, and he grew up there and he knows the people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That I feel bad for her in a sense. <laughs> yeah, I I mean I get it. How far gone? The Northmen as well. Ouch. I thought it was more than that, honestly, but... And the Golden Company has arrived in King's Landing, courtesy of the Greyjoy fleet. The balance has grown distressingly even. When the people find out what we have done for them, we saved them. Cersei will make sure they don't believe it. Propaganda queen hard. over there. We will rip her out root and stem. Hell yeah. The objective <laughs> here is to remove Cersei without destroying King's Landing. Thankfully, she is losing allies by the day. Yara Greyjoy has retaken the Iron Islands in her queen's name. No matter how many lords turn against her, as long as she sits on the Iron Throne, she can call herself Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. We need the capital. I watched the people of King's Landing rebel against their king when they were hungry, and that was before winter began. Give them the opportunity, and they will cast Cersei aside. We'll surround the city. If the Iron Fleet tries to ferry in more food, the dragons will destroy them. If the oh, Lannisters and the Golden Company attack, We'll defeat them in the field. Once the people see that Cersei is our only enemy, her reign is over. Many of them are wounded. They'll fight better if they have time to rest and recuperate. How long do you suggest? I came north to fight alongside you. Now that the time has come to reciprocate, you want to postpone. It's not just our people, it's yours. You want to throw them into a war, they're not ready to fight. The longer I leave my enemies alone, the stronger they become. The Northern forces will honor their promises and their allegiance to the Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Dang, John. Taking sides, you huh? We will obey. If all are in agreement, That's tough. John and Sir Davos will ride down the King's Road with the northern troops and the bulk of the remaining Dothraki and Unsullied. A smaller group of us will ride to White Harbor and sail from there to Dragonstone with our queen and her dragons accompanying us from above. We have won the Great War. Now we will win the last war. In all seven kingdoms, men will live without fear and cruelty under their rightful queen. Sansa, you need to chill, bro. Like, <laughs> Give, given those eyes, like... Like, I understand her skepticism. She wants to keep things stark. She wants to keep them way. traditional, and I understand, but Daenerys is one, man. Look at them. They're, like, stark you enough on them. We'd all be dead if not for her. We'd be corpses marching down to King's Landing. I is the one that killed the Night King. Um, that doesn't mean that I want to kneel to someone. I swore didn't... myself and the North to her cause. I respect that. You respect it? We needed her. We needed her army. Her dragons. You did the right thing. And we're doing the right thing telling you we don't trust your queen. You don't know her yet. I'll never know her. She's not one of us. If you only trust the people you grow up with, you won't make many allies. That's all right. I don't need many allies. Ah, yeah. We're family. The four of us. Oh, don't the tell them. The I've never been a Stark. <laughs> but you, you but you have. Bran knows the, the whole truth <laughs> anyway. He's just chilling. I know. You're my brother. Not my, my favorite brother. brother. Or my bastard brother. We were outcasts together, John. The Misfit Alliance. It's your choice. Well, not really, Bran. <laughs> like, now you done made it awkward. I need to tell you something. Confession. You have to swear you'll never tell another soul. Don't trust Sansa. What is it? You have to swear it before I tell you. How can I promise to keep a secret if I don't even know what it is? Because we're family. <laughs> swear it. I swear it. She's like, I swear it. Yeah, she's like, I swear it. You just trust Bran. Don't worry about him. Tell them. I wanted to hear how he was gonna say it. Was he gonna be like, "This is Aegon," or he's so like, "You know, and Lena." With you. And... I just want to protect the Stark girl, so say something snide. I'm happy. I'm happy that you're happy. Aww. I'm happy that you're 
finally have to climb for it. <laughs> Do you know how long I've waited to tell tall person jokes? <laughs> to climbing mountains. To climbing mountains. Aw, Jamie. What you like down there? What? Ugh. That's not your concern. Molly's well, so I offended. Been with a woman for years. They'd have that conversation before. I am the imp, and I demand to know. I knew you were fucking a pair of tall blonde toffs. Sent by Cersei. In the mirror. It's a brawn with of the bow. Where's your drink? What are you? What are you doing up north? What are you doing with that? Oh, this. This is for you. For both of you. You're supposed to be south. You boys are a pair of gold-plated cunts. Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> year after year, I've shoveled Lannister shit, and what do I have to show? You're a knight, thanks to me. Thanks to me. And that title's worth as much as a blonde hair from your brother's bulls. How are his eyes where men believe? <laughs> Shut so. your mouth. I'm oh, he's for trying. real. I've never hit a dwarf before, but say another word, and I will belt you. See, I don't believe you'd do that. <laughs> you couldn't do it on your best day, you one-handed fuck, and your best days are long gone. Oh, is he for real? Broke my nose. It seems I like did it. not break your nose. How do you know? Because I've been breaking noses since I was your size, and I know what it sounds like. Now listen, your sister offered me River Run. Nice big castle, good lands, plenty of peasants who do what they're told. And you trust Cersei. I knew your sister was dead the second I saw those dragons. Now your army may be torn to shit, but I'd still bet on your dragon queen to win. And it just so happens I'm a betting man. <laughs> if Cersei's dead, she can't pay up. Mm, that's good. Of course, the odds change if the Dragon Queen's hand turns up dead. Maybe a few of her <laughs> top generals get picked off one by one. All of a sudden. May I speak? Why not? Only death will shut you up. <laughs> we made a deal long ago. Do you remember? Yeah, whatever. She's Anyone paying off double. Anyone money to kill you, you'd pay me double. Right. What's Double River on? High Garden. Oh yeah. my God. That's what he wanted right after. Lord of the Remember? Beach. High Garden. Are you mad? It's better than being dead. He's not going to kill us. He wouldn't be told. <laughs> The way I see it, I only need one of the Lannister brothers alive. <laughs> High Garden will never belong to a cutthroat. Who were your ancestors? The ones who made your family rich. Fancy lads in silk? They were fucking cutthroats. Wasn't That's it the, how all the uh, great houses started, isn't it? With a hard bastard who was good at killing people. Kill a few hundred Land. people, they make you a lord. Land the Kill clever. a few thousand, they make you king. High Garden. <clears throat> Give me your word. <laughs> Give it to you him. have my word. We ride south in the morning. We could use an officer with a knowledge of the city's defenses. Oh, no. no. My fighting days are done. But I still yeah, have a few killing days left, you hear me? <laughs> I'll come find you when the war is done. Till then, don't die. <laughs> He's like, just not gonna fight in it, like Commodus. <laughs> they owe him so much, though. <laughs> they, they really do. Y'all can't even be mad at Bronn. Y'all always pay your debts, so you say. Mm -hmm. He was like, you'd be on a Budweiser commercial. I love that horse. It's so cute. Oh, back at it right. again. Not anymore. I don't like crowds. Me neither. Why not? They all love you now. You're the big hero. Don't like heroes. Must have felt good sticking your knife in that horn. F Can't put it on dying. You're heading to King's Landing? I have some unfinished business. That's six months, remember? I don't plan on coming back. Neither do I. Why? You're gonna leave me to die again if I get hurt? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> You know, in a way, Arya is so tough, but so many people have shown her kindness. Yeah. You know what I mean? No one yeah. really left her for dead. Like, the hound never left her for dead. Like, she would do her. Aw. That's John's. Sansa is not feeling that at all. My lady, my lord, is the standard response. <laughs> Why her? You know she loves your brother. Oh, she's just lying. Good queen. You seem determined to dislike her. The good relationship between the Iron Throne and the North has been the core of every peaceful, prosperous reign we've ever known. John will be Warden of the North, so a good relationship seems likely. Don't expect him to spend much time here going forward. Well, I suppose that's up to him. With John in the capital, you'll be the true power in the North. I'd feel much better about the future if I left here today believing that you and Daenerys were allies. What are you worried about? John's taking our army with him. Your queen still has She's her dragons. She's your queen, too. You don't have to be her friend. Why provoke her? How is that in the best interest of your family or the North? You're afraid of her. Every good ruler needs to inspire a bit of fear. I don't want John to go down there. The men in my family don't do well in the capital. Yeah, they don't come back, do they? No. But as your brother once told me, he's not a Stark. Are you all right? Her people love her. You've seen that. You've seen how they fight for her. She wants to make the world a better place. I believe in her. Tyrion, 
What if there's someone else? Oh. Someone do better. So Sansa is little fingering. Like scheming, ain't she? Yeah, that is what she's doing. You're not gonna ride the dragon south? Just a horse. Rhaegar needs to heal. He doesn't need me weighing him down. You weigh as much as two fleas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the free folk home. We've had enough of the south. <laughs> the south. The women down there don't like me. This is the north, you know. And the free folk are welcome to stay. It isn't home. We need room to wander. I'll take them back through Castle Black as soon as the winter storms pass. Back where we belong. It's where he belongs, too. Oh. The direwolf has no place in the south. Will you take him with you? Bro, that yeah, sucks, man. man. You can't leave your puppy. So would you. I know. So he's really just abandoning the Starks, essentially, huh? Yeah, he said, not a Stark anymore. He's a full-fledged Targaryen now. This is farewell, then. You never know. Oh. It seemed like a finality You've hug, didn't it? North, didn't you? The real North. <laughs> Ghost. She's wearing her hair like Shireen. Oh, she's pregnant? Yeah, it's probably him. The nights have been getting longer, and there wasn't that much to do in Old Town. There's only so many books a person can read, so we... I'm sure he knows how it happened, Sam. <laughs> if it's a boy, we want to name him John. Mm. That's so sad. I hope it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Very name her Jonna. You're the best friend I ever had. Aww. You too, Sam. Man, it seems like their relationship just didn't last long enough. I know. That's the thing about watching this back to back, guys. Like, it's mm. going by so fast. Seems like they just met each other. Go pet him. He lost an ear for you, Jonathan. That is so sick. <laughs> Take the throne so they can go live in peace. I know they deserve it. Think of the past 20 years. The war, the murder, the misery. All of it because Robert Baratheon loved someone who didn't love him back. Every night, Ned. <laughs> How many others now? Including us? Eight. And then it's not a secret anymore. It's information. If a handful of people know now, hundreds will know soon. Then what happens? She loses the Norse. She loses the veil. Sansa will make sure of that. No, it's worse than that. He has the better claim to the throne. He doesn't want the throne. I'm not sure it matters what he wants. Fact is, people are drawn to him. Wildlings, Northmen. He's a war hero. She's kind of like queen. Viserys. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. She loves it's like him. a full circle in a way. Mm hmm. If we marry them, they could rule together. Oh, there you go. She's his aunt. They never stopped a Targaryen before. No, but John grew up in Winterfell. He's marrying your aunt Common in the north. Oh, God, his aunt Liza. It's only an aunt I knew he you had. You are queen better than I do. Do you think she wants to share the throne? She does not like to have her authority questioned. Something she has in common with every monarch who ever lived. I worry about her state of mind. We are advisors to the queen. Worrying about her state of mind is our job. What did she do that was so crazy? We still have to take King's Landing. Burden Randall, I guess? Maybe Cersei will win and kill us all. That would solve our problems. Oh, she's on one. Still. <laughs> Whoa! Excuse you! Who did that? <gasps> oh! Why? It's gotta be Euron's fleet, right? It's gotta be. Bro, how oh. does she not see this fleet coming? She's in the air with dragons. I she know. can see for miles. Who is that? Euron's ugly butt. Oh, she's pissed. Oh my gosh. Please, please, please blow fire on this man. Jakars, Jakars, Jakars. Oh, he's just gonna he's just gonna go for it. He's just gonna go for it. Lord have mercy. How is she gonna avoid all of those? Because Drogon's part does Racky. <laughs> Open field combat. Yep. There's no way. So we're down to one dragon? That's so... Oh, no. Get to the skiff. No! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my... That's the VIP boat. <gasps> he beyond. <laughs> yeah, he did, didn't he? <gasps> no way. Just like when the... The knocked hammer him hit out. him, yeah, knocked him out. They were close to shore, thank gosh. <laughs> Dang. Wow, the whole fleet's gone. Missandei! Oh no, oh no. Missandei! Oh no. Our message was well received then. Your Man, people and Cersei. The usurper is coming. Man, with fire. She's a usurper for now. protection within the walls of the Red Keep. You're certain about the dragon? I saw it sink beneath the waves. That must have been glorious. 
Costume. The is yours, my queen. Yeah, she was like red velvet cake, don't she? Mm -hmm. The lion shall rule the land, the kraken shall rule the sea, and our child shall one day rule them all. The lion and the kraken. The lacken. The cracker like a lacken. <laughs> 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 she was disgusted, don't she? I don't know. She's coming for you. Of course she is. Keep the gates open. If she wants to take the castle, she'll have to murder thousands of innocent people first. Unless Arya comes in and takes over, what do you mean? So much for the breaker of chains. Oh no, not her. We was talking about how their story just seemed too happy. The They're talking about like getting out and retiring and all that. Kill your enemies, all of them. Your Grace, I promised you I would look you in the eye and speak directly if I ever thought you were making a mistake. This is a mistake. Because it's about the people. And you know he's, he's about the people. You saw my child fall from the sky. They took Missandei. Cersei needs to be destroyed. But if we attack King's Landing with Drogon and the Unsullied and the Dothraki, tens of thousands of innocents will die. That is why Cersei is bringing them into the Red Keep. Human shield. These are the people you came here to protect. I beg you, your grace, do not destroy the city you came to save. Do not become what you have always struggled to defeat. It's hard, man. Do you believe we're here for a reason, Lord Varys? I'm here to free the world from tyrants. That is my destiny, and I will serve it no matter the cost. So she's not really interested in the people at this point. She's just interested in her John and the destiny. Armies make it to King's Landing. What she says is in about the people. Demand Cersei's surrender. Offer her her life in exchange for the throne. If there's a chance to avoid the coming slaughter, we should make the effort. Speaking to Cersei will not prevent a slaughter. But perhaps it's good the people see that Daenerys Stormborn made every effort to avoid bloodshed. Right. And Cersei Lannister refused. Right. That's all I'm asking for. They should know whom to blame when the sky falls down upon them. Oh. So it's looking like she's about to go quote unquote mad, but I mean, can you blame I'm her? She's sure down to I'm one dragon, dude. <laughs> What's she supposed to do? Just keep they letting her get picked off? Talk about destiny. So she can play by these righteous She's rules? A girl who walked into a fire with three stones and walked out with three dragons. How could she not believe in destiny? Right, I mean... Perhaps that's the problem. Her life has convinced her that she was sent here to save us all. And how do you know she wasn't? Then there's the problem of Jon Snow. You mean Aegon Snow? Perhaps it's actually a solution. You know them both. Tell me, who do you think would make a better ruler? That's why he bent the knee. Have you considered the best ruler might be someone who doesn't want to rule? We're discussing treason. That was Robert Brathian, though. Don't pretend you haven't thought about it. Right, that's the it, extreme end of it. Mm -hmm. John's going to be on the throne. Boy. I have to go to Essos. He's a man. Yeah, he has to go somewhere. Which makes it more appealing to the lords of Westeros, whose support we are going to need. Joffrey was a man. What about my earlier proposal? They could rule together as king and queen. I like that idea. She's too strong for him. She'd bend him to her will, as she already has. You could temper her worst impulses. As you have. You're drinking quite a lot. A Targaryen father and a Stark mother. John's the one man alive who might actually be able to keep the North in the Seven Kingdoms. How many kings and queens have you served? Five, six, I've lost count. You've always known my reasons. At a certain point, you choose a person you believe in, and you fight for that person. Even if you know it's a mistake. I believe in our queen. She'll make the right choice with the help of her loyal advisors. So Varys is super concerned that she's going to kill innocent you know, people. Right, Lord that's what it seems that. like. You know you... I will never betray the realm. What is the realm? A vast continent, home to millions of people, most of whom don't care who sits on the Iron Throne. Millions of people, many of whom will die if the wrong person sits on that throne. We don't know their names, but they're just as real as you and I. They deserve to live. They deserve food for their children. I will act in their interest, no matter the personal cost. Hell yeah. Aw, a representative. Please don't. Yeah, don't say that, though. I've spoken as honestly as I can. Each of us has a choice to make. Pray we choose wisely. That's a whole lot. I'm like, how dare they just take down a dragon like that? Especially Euron and his crusty self. What happened? Euron Greyjoy ambushed Queen Daenerys and her fleet. One of the dragons was killed, several ships destroyed, Miss Sande captured. I always wanted to be there when they execute your sister. <laughs> it seems like I won't get the chance. Damn, Sansa, you're so cold. I know, Sansa slash Cersei Jr. She's crossfade cold, isn't she? Yeah, she's definitely crossfade cold. Aw, she's just snug as a bug. They're going to destroy that city. You know they will. Have you ever run away from a fight? You're not like your sister. 
You're not. So he's about to run because home. She is. You're a good man and you can't save her. You don't need to die with her. Mm. Stay here. Stay with me. Please. Stay. Please. You think I'm a good man? Not at first, but now, yeah. I pushed a boy out of tower window. Crippled him for life for Cersei. I strangled my cousin with my own hands just to get back to Cersei. I would have murdered every man, woman, and child in Riverrun for Cersei. She's hateful, and so am I. Dude. <laughs> that was so intense. So Jamie's character arc is getting destroyed right now. It was like this. And you know how Brienne was always so insecure and she told the story about how she finally felt pretty for a day and they left her? <laughs> Jamie took her V-car, bro, and now he's just leaving her in the middle I of the know. night. So wrong for that. That was... Man, that's... Come on, Jamie. That was a quick six months. <sighs> they can't burn Cersei because they'll burn her too. She's standing right beside her. And she's in chains. Cersei's got her in chains too. Just for a little irony. That's so wrong. That looks like a Hershey's bar. Kyburn's <laughs> coming out. This is like in Lord of the Rings when they send out the uh, mouth of Sauron. Mm -hmm. And they're like, look, peering from a high point. Mm -hmm. Yup, just like that. But you know how that ends. So the only reason they're not firing on everyone right now is because the dragon will go crazy, right? Maybe. That's got to be the only reason. My lord. Queen Daenerys demands Cersei's unconditional surrender and the immediate release of Missandei of North. Queen Cersei demands Daenerys's unconditional surrender. If she refuses, Missandei of North will die here and now. Kyburn? <laughs> You're a rational man. Or so I flatter myself, my lord. We have a chance here, perhaps our last chance, to avoid carnage. Help me. I don't want to see the city burn. I don't want to hear the screams of children burning alive. No, it is not a pleasant sound. I I don't want to hear it. Help me save this city. Tyrion's pleading right now. I know. My lord, I am only a mouthpiece for our queen. Your queen. Cersei is queen of the Seven Kingdoms. You are her subject. Her reign is over. You understand this. Help her understand it. We understand nothing of the sort. Your queen's last dragon is vulnerable. Your armies are battle-weary and depleted, while ours have been reinforced with the Golden Company. Yeah, be quiet, Kyburn. He's about to go straight to the snake's mouth, ain't he? He's about to be Kyburn. <laughs> it is not that serious. Well, they think he's got a bomb strapped to mm -hmm. his chest or something. <laughs> Please don't try to talk to her. You know, it's just not going to work. It never does. I know you don't care about your people. Not a good way to I start. <laughs> they hate you and you hate them. You're not a monster. I know this. I know this because I've seen it. When? You've always loved your children more than yourself, more than anything. I beg you. If not for yourself, then for your child. Rain oh wow, she's got a tear in her eye. You see that? Right, that so she really might be pregnant life for real. Doesn't mean doesn't mean your baby has to die. Cersei surrenders and then it's between her and John. I don't know. I don't feel like Cersei has any type of positivity in her bones, though. No, especially not with Tyrion suggesting it. That's wild. Yeah, let her chains off. If you have any last words, now is the time. <sighs> No. Why? And why in chains? <laughs> Dracarys. Dracarys. No. No way. She's gonna lose Jora and her. Stop. Stop it. Oh, brother. Really, Cersei? So it is war time now. Tyrion's like, I really nah, tried. Nah, blow her up. Blow her up. Today. Oh my gosh. What a shot. I feel like if it would have been anyone else on the on the planet asking, but Tyrion, right. no shot. Damn. Okay, guys, so... Get that out of my ear. Masande is gone. Baby, she gone. I know. She gone, gone. Cersei was moved, man. She was tearing up in the eye. I think she was moved by what Tyrion was saying. Because it's true. She really does love her children. And if that is true, she does have a child. Like, I can see how she would maybe want to, like, just 
make the world a better place for it. But at the same time, like she's not stupid. She knows going to well, she'll be in chains with a child. Yeah. I mean, it's a tough situation. If you're Cersei, man, she is definitely going to go out fighting and calling. And I just hope she doesn't have another finale of wildfire in store. Cause I mean, could you just imagine them coming into King's Landing and her just destroying everyone? I, that would freaking suck. I don't know what to think about it, man. But Cersei just made it so hard for her to just be like, okay, cool. Like, that's war words. Well, I feel like... By taking off... One, someone, oh, it's, it's wartime now. Yeah, you, I mean, you took off their head in front of everyone. That's... You know, it's like I was saying, Cersei's playing this game. And the game is, keep pissing off Daenerys until she bites. And when she bites... Then you can sit back and be like, oh, my God, it's an alligator, right? Right. And I understand the game that she's playing, but, man, you can't be head. She lost Jorah. She lost her best friend. She lost two of her dragons. What else is she supposed to do at this point? Like, I understand I there's going to be casualties if she invades King's Landing, but there's been casualties throughout the whole show. And, and I'm not trying to justify it in any type of means, but, dude, I just feel like whether you agree with Daenerys or not, whether you think she should be there, whether you think she should rule Essos and stay out of Westeros, whatever the case may be, I mean, she's there. And in her mind, you know, in her mind, she thinks she's doing the right thing. So there's no getting around that she's fact. A, so She's a very prophetic person. So, like, for her to take over the Iron Throne, she feels like that's her destiny, all that did, stuff. What did Varys say, baby? He said she walked in and she walked out with three dragons so like wouldn't you believe in destiny she and had three that? stones and walked out with three dragons walked through fire she was unburnt unburnt so yeah you can imagine how she's thinking she needs to save these people but for cersei to take off someone that's very close to her's head like there's just no telling where she's gonna go at this point like there's she's, just no telling daenerys reminds me of the politician who genuinely says you know i'm gonna go to washington and i'm gonna fight this system and i'm gonna help Drain and all this swamp. Stuff. <laughs> Drain right stuff swamp. like that right and then and then you get there and you realize it just runs so deep and as much as you want to do better it's just human nature eventually takes fold and that's just what you get man so um it's definitely a hierarchy there and as much as daenerys doesn't want it, it to be that way it just appears like she's gonna have to get her hands dirty in a way that the show's really been saying the path her legacy is really going to be how does it come down to the choice that she makes right now i'm not really seeing much of a choice if she could hypothetically you know with a dragon without killing everyone that'd be great but they're making it seem like she's gonna have to destroy everyone to get cersei do you get what i'm saying yeah but then, cersei's because cersei's hiding in the capital with all the people around her so yeah that is true yeah well I don't know. I, I really don't know, man. Maybe you just send Ari in there. Right. Well, that's that's what I would personally do, but maybe they don't know. And it seems like she's going to do that. It seems like Ari is trying to get there. But the thing that's kind of weird to me is kind of just how fast everyone's getting there, I guess you can say. Yeah, that's true. It's just very fast. We, we knew in the season one, um, it's six months to get to King's Landing from Winterfell. Yeah, that was a six month time jump. Yeah, right there. like I, I've seen people say in the comments they they had some fast travel tokens this season, mm -hmm. which they we, they have. But a way I guess I've been kind of just putting it in my mind is dragons. Like maybe they're flying there, but then everyone's getting there, so it's John clearly wasn't there though. So ship and dragons gets you there faster. Yeah. Wait, I mean, was John there? No, he wasn't. I don't I remember seeing. Right, John, I don't no. remember seeing John there. Yeah. Um, great episode though, man. It started out obviously. Um, we we're mourning some of the great people that we've met along the way, especially some of the maybe like some of the background characters. Jorah was more of a main character in a way, but um, well, not really because he was also like gone sometimes, he was not always there, he was gone you, because he was like exiled a few times. It is a different perspective watching these back to back, sort of like we have. We sort of binge this show in a way, especially prepared to you guys who watched it live, and so. I feel like it does feel a little rushed in that sense, you know, but I'm not going to complain about it by any means. But like I said, there was a time jump, but if something feels rushed, that just means that we love it and we just want it to last forever. So we understand. Right, that. right, right. But we started out, man, we were mourning the dead and then we celebrated life. We had a big party. Right. We came alive. Uh, Arya denied Gendry. <laughs> yeah, Jamie finally uh, purchased a ladder and climbed that thing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Apparently did a good job because she wanted him to stay. So uh, good on him. Kind of hurt uh, Tormund's feelings, but that's okay. I mean, poor Tormund. <laughs> he's a brute anyway. She's just not into it. She's yeah. she just wants a gentleman. That's yeah. okay. I think I think long term he'd realize that maybe they weren't really the best couple. <laughs> so 
you know, he'll go home and find him a nice northern woman and I'm maybe sure he'll a forget giant all about her. northern lady. <laughs> yeah. I think that's one of the best parts of the show, though, is how he loved her because she was giant. Yeah. He just, and it's funny because. He was just intrigued by her so much. She just walked her whole life walking the land, just wanting someone to come along and want her for her and, you know, take her obvious and her mind flaw and make it, you know, something that they were really into. And Tormund embodied that. Yeah. Like, and she didn't even and give she, him the she time just of didn't day. want him, man. So that was funny. It was all Jamie for her. She wanted, yeah, she wanted someone with some real issues, man. Tormund <laughs> was too much of a happy go lucky party animal. <laughs> she needed someone a little more emotionally, you know, in depth. So, right. so then we celebrated, man. I thought that was a wild scene. Like I said, Arya decided that she's going to run off. She's not really the Mary type of lady, which is okay. You don't have to be. And she just is going to go kill Cersei, apparently. Yeah. With the help of the hound, maybe. And I would really love to see it because she took out the whole fray line, um, the killed whole, the Night King. The whole army of dead. You know, she probably has more bodies than you can count. Oh, another another pair uh, did it, but they're not really a pair, right? They're sort of a very odd couple right now. Um, the Dragon Queen and the... What is he? How do we refer to him? John? The Snowman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They did it and it was just kind of awkward because they're related. And John... No, they didn't do it. Well, they're about to do it. Well, they were then kissing, John, were they not? Yeah, then John stopped and was like, yo, you're kind of my aant, so like, got to go. Why didn't he think of that before they were kissing each other, though? He just he was had little, that moment Remember, he was clarity. drunk. He tripped. <laughs> yeah, but come on. That don't mean nothing. Um, yeah, that's just an awkward dynamic, though, for real. Like, I I wish that they would just get married, in a sense. Right. Know? I wish that I it wish would they would, but he's a northerner, so like they said, that would be weird in his on his side. And her side, it really wouldn't. And also, if you remember from season one, her brother was touching on all over her and stuff like that. And it wasn't really like it was kind of normal because incest and Targaryen. Well, I, the vibe that I got was it was normal to him, but not normal. Well, to her. Yeah, she but, didn't seem to like it at all. Well, yeah, she, she didn't like it at all. It. She didn't like it. But I'm just saying in Targaryen bloodlines, they talk about how. It's yeah, common. I get it. Yeah. So for her, that's one thing. But for John, you know, that's a no, no. And then it was really interesting. They had a conversation. Um. Yeah, hold on. Then we got the uh, Arya and the Hound moment. Which the reuniting was I mean, moment. that was just a really good, yeah, reuniting moment. Not much, too much to talk about there, but they basically just discussed their plans and what they're going to do in life and all mm -hmm. that good stuff. Sansa, let's talk about Sansa. So Sansa, she is a very suspicious person at this point of the Dragon Queen, is she not? Right, well, she has all reason to be, but... Also, you know, we've said Sansa embodies every person that's like encountered her. So this is all negative forces. Right, which so you could see a lot of Cersei and a lot of Littlefinger in her in this episode. Right. And by her kind of cuz Littlefinger's always trying to hype up somebody to take the throne. Remember when she killed Ramsay and she smiled? Yeah. Like I understand if you kill Ramsay you would smile like that's your your arch rival in the whole entire world at that point. I get it. But she but even if my worst enemy was getting ate to death by a dog, it'd still be hard to. I don't. Know I would. Either. I would at least Ramsey understand Bolton. the darkness of the situation. I don't know that I would like smile because I don't know that I would tempt the universe like that. I might. But, I might do eight cartwheels and I can't even do one. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Over Ramsey Bolton, heck yeah. I, I know. I know what you mean. I really do. Um, and so she smiled at that, and that just sort of indicated to me that she's a little dark. You know what I mean? Which I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing by any means. I think you need a little darkness in you sometimes. And I think that she, at the end of the day, like she understands what her people's been through and she doesn't want to lose touch of the fact that they're trying to be a free people in the North and she doesn't yeah. want to bend her knee and be subject to this lady who well, they she, don't even know. She probably doesn't want it for her children to have to like go through the same cycle she's going to, that she went through just like. It's just going to keep going over and over if we keep doing this. You know well, another thing is she's sitting there looking out at the land that her ancestors has looked out for all these generations. And there's not supposed to be dragons flying around. Right. You know, and I, I think deep down in her gut, she just thinks that it would be a tragedy. It would be disrespectful to her ancestors if she didn't try to, like, stop that in any way. So I think it's just because it's just so foreign to them. Dragons flying around. It's just... All the control, you know, even if someone's the king or the queen and you don't like them and they're at war with you, at the end of the day, like, you can still take your fate into your own hands at some point. But with a dragon, not really. Right. I mean, with a dragon, they sort of take all your free will away. You're basically subject to that dragon. So I can understand her skepticism, but it's hard to hate on the dragons because as this 
show has unfolded, it's been apparent how much they've been necessary. Right. But Even, also how easy they are to kill. Like, Euron made that look like light work. Right. I don't know what that And man. the Dragon King, I device. mean, the Night King did as well because he, like, one shot in one. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, so it, they're making it seem like they're easier to kill. So if Drogon's gone, Daenerys has no power. I guess the idea is the ones like when Euron took the shot, the idea is Euron's supposed to be the best in this on this planet and like taking a shot. So it's not like anyone could do that. Like there has to be a Euron. There's only one Euron, you know. So so when Bronn took that shot too, he he hit him too. Hey, Ron's a bad man. Yeah, that's Ron's what I'm saying. Everyone Ron's just has skill. this like skill with this. You know what I'm saying? I know what you mean. It, it does make the dragon seem a little soft. How easily they can just take him down with a spear for sure. A couple of spears and just fall in the water. You would think they would have armor like like gold plated armor that you just couldn't penetrate. Right. But, I, I was I was a little. I guess I'm a little confused about that. But also I can understand because everything in this universe they're kind of getting to know it as we are, as we as the viewers are. So, like, dragons are probably the same thing. They probably didn't think about it, I guess. Right. And then Varys <laughs> pretty much had a confrontation with Danny, and he told her, like, I don't think you're doing the right thing. And their plan was sort of whack, though, was it not? Surround the city, and, and then eventually the people are going to start starving, and then they're going to realize, like, the only, one in our, the only one in our way is Cersei. But are people really going to buy that, though? I mean, that's such a simplistic right. idea, like... If like if an army comes and they surround my house and then you're like, babe, we should just give them our house. And I'm like, hell no, I'm not leaving my house. We'll die here. Like, I understand you might have an interest in wanting me to like give up the house for your own protection. There's going to be a lot of people who don't share that sentiment. Yeah. And they're going to be like, nah, bump all that. Like, we'll die defending the house. Mm -hmm. And so in my mind, like, you can blame me if you want to. But ac actually, it's not me. It's actually the people surrounding the house. Yeah. So it's a weird logic. But. What it would do, I have no doubt, is it would start a debate amongst people. Yeah. And there would definitely be, they would essentially be, it would cost like a civil war internally for them because that would well, be yeah. too radical change of thought. I just feel like that that strategy, Daenerys is very gun ho on, we have to be urgent because they're weak now or whatever. <laughs> or we're weak now or whatever. Well, and she's seen how easy they're killing her dragons. I mean, she right. thought she was going to be invincible with them. Right. So she, I guess she's having to take urgent action and that's why... That plan would kind of suck in her favor. And they're talking about her mental state a lot. But, and guys, I'm genuinely just saying this. I don't really see too much in her that makes me question her mental state. Well, most of, mostly because most of the stuff that's happening to her, people are, like, screwing her. Well, like, it's kind of out of her control a lot right. of this. <laughs> like, taking out two of her dragons, two of her three dragons before, like, the series ends is that you, you're pushing the girl. Like, everything was going in her favor until John discovered that secret, which she obviously didn't want to happen. She didn't even know that's of no consequence to her. So, in a way, it kind of sucks because it's almost like Destiny is pushing her towards something that she wants so hard in her heart to not do. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, I genuinely don't think she wants to turn that way, but, I mean, dude, when you cut off her... So, your closest person's head. What are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to just be cool about that? No. And another thing that scares me. Well, one thing I can say about Daenerys that does scare me, though, is if I'm, you know, if I'm looking from an outsider's perspective is how lonely and isolated she is. Right. And she just got a lot more lonely. Right. And not only did she lose her, she lost Grey Worm because Grey Worm mentally, you know, Grey Worm. I feel not like gonna he's going to do something anymore. rash. He's going to do something to to end his life like well now saying. everyone in her quote unquote cabinet and her you know in her inner circle they all want <laughs> revenge and blood at this point True. so what is she supposed to do i mean da daenerys is just in an impossible situation i do feel bad for her I, I understand that it's just impossible it's such a hard situation because at the end of the day from her perspective and she doesn't even know the true history which is also weird but she deserves to be on the Iron Throne, or at least her family does, because Robert's Rebellion was based on lies. Right, and that's if you're just going off the, based off, it goes in your lineage, it keeps running in your bloodline, you keep being reborn. But then again, like, okay, so the Targaryens deserve to be on the throne, but do they deserve to be on the throne if they're burning people? Like, it's just complicated. It's, it's really tough. complicated. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can go with the bloodlines, and it's like, is that good? Or you can go with taking it, is that good? No one knows what's good. Yeah, like good is so weird in this. Good context. is such yeah. a weird term in this world. 
good in our weird, world in and this world yeah yeah for sure <laughs> in all worlds good is weird to define yeah and it just seems like she's lonely and she's just not at home and i think the closer she gets to the iron throne the iron throne the more isolated and lonely she's starting to feel and i think she sees the customs of people on this landmass and i think that she just doesn't identify with it you know right i mean if i if i hopped up and moved to china like i'd probably feel really out of place right right that's probably how she you is. know you know what i kind of noticed though okay so at the at the dinner or whatever it was the party she immediately sees gendry and she like you know is like i'll give you your gendry baratheon and all that but like no one else is interested in any type of stuff like that at the moment they're playing drinking games and doing all this <laughs> she's still at work and that was the loneliest part for me I see what you're saying. Yeah, she's still having to. Yeah, she's just sitting there sober while everyone's basically celebrating life. She's sitting there. Like it was such a tough day yesterday, and she's. It's the next day, and she's already at it. You well, know? she feels like she's lost so much, and it would be appropriate if people cared about her to mourn, especially because she's not done mourning. Right. And she's their queen, and if the queen's sitting there not happy and everyone's not even aware of it like how does that make you feel right I mean, it, it makes you not feel like you're queen of anybody like right. you're nobody's queen that's like the queen bee in the ant colony being sick and the ants not caring like that's right. just then that's not the queen obviously you know um i feel really bad for her character man i really do i think that she's someone who genuinely wants the best i think she wants to break the will f- break the chains free the slaves end oppression I mean, who wouldn't want that? I mean, everybody wants that because on some level, man, like if it sucks for one person out there, it's going to come around and suck for one of us, right? It's, right. it's going to suck for all of us in some type of way. And she's doing her best, but it seems like that's just history, man. The people who really do their best to try to make a difference and do positive things end up getting shot in the back of the head. So You know what I feel like? I feel like they need some red women. They need to hire some more red women to go preach the good word of Daenerys in King's Landing. Right. Cause an uproar. I don't, I don't know. I don't think there's a market for a red woman anymore. There's right. no more long night. Because the Lord of Light was like. I guess the Lord of Light is hanging out. I don't know what he's, he's doing. He's like, there you guys go. I mean, he's probably cooking up something, obviously. He's not just on vacation. <laughs> you know. But that's Maybe. basically what Davos said. Well, Tyrion, he said he does what he does and he Fs off. Tyrion just needs to understand that with time and perspective, he'll understand. He'll see the bigger picture. Right. He's being a little impatient. But It's really strange where we're going to go from here. because genuinely... What's up with Jamie? What did Jamie do? Jamie pretty much like hit it and quit it <laughs> he did that he did all this character arc that was like beautiful beautifully written like just fantastic but the thing is i don't know if he's going back to cersei for good or bad i don't know because i feel like it could be bad because you feel like maybe he's he could go back to try to convince her to like change her ways either that or he could just be like maybe he was having i don't know like i, I had two trains of thought either that one or maybe he could just go confront her because like all the, maybe that's the one thing he needs to do is confront that's not her. the vibe i got though I don't know. the vibe, the vibe I, got I got was he was saying like the same thing he told edmure remember he was like laugh at me if you want judge me if you want whatever the case may be i love cersei and there's nothing you can do or say and there's no lie i can tell myself and there's no story i can tell has ever truly truly convinced myself that deep down all that really matters to me in my life is cersei i mean right. i'd kill my own cousin so I'd basically lose my hands. fought the army of the dead for cersei that's basically i mean you could go that way if he's going there for that or maybe he's just going to get like some closure or something i don't really know but either way him leaving well, that wouldn't be a smart idea to go get closure you just left brianne that's who you're climbing right now i know i don't i don't know what jamie's thinking man i'm not him we're gonna, we're gonna see that's for sure um hopefully you don't go back to that city though because it's about to be full-scale war and it's going to be a bunch of gray worm running around and that's what i, I don't want to see gray worm running around the city murdering old ladies just to be just, just out of vengeance yeah you know? like, that's not what i'm trying to see i you know it's just complicated but it's really hard to say oh well you just can't fight the the fight at king's landing because you know you just can't do it there you got to meet the army because ideally that's what everyone wants to do they want to fight in the fleet or they want to meet in like an open combat area you ideally don't want to fight wars in civilian populations in the middle of cities you know unless you know unless it's not really a war right unless it's more of like a like you're trying to conquer it so um insane man I, I don't it was know hard to just, it was hard to see masande go you guys like I, I didn't want to i didn't even bring that part up but masande was just a good character through and through she never I, did anything no she said anything all she did was ever. translate and be respectful and you know she had 
she had like barely any moments. She was a secretary. Where, right. She was just like, had any, she barely did anything to ever piss anybody off. Like, did she even know? I just don't understand what Cersei's thinking though. Like, do you get what I'm saying? I don't understand Cersei's mentality because the show's making a big, that's, that's one thing about the show guys that I don't love, man is they have set it up to where Daenerys has three dragons and army of Dor- of Dothraki, Unsullied, Tyrion, like checkmate, man. Cersei is in a city that's just <laughs> foaming at the mouth to look for any reason to smash her head in with a rock. But that's not really what I'm seeing play out. Yeah. That's not really the narrative I'm feeling. I don't like, know. I'm like right. Daenerys the is- strength of army is b- really weird now because we thought it was, we honestly, I thought after the, the long night, it was kind of gone. But it was only half of it when we. Th- I thought I saw with my own eyes it going. Of oh, the Dithraki gone. Unless Cersei's just trying to get a kill from the grave. You know what that is? So on Halo 3, guys, you know, all my uh, Halo 3 fans out there, <laughs> you're like, pur, 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 and you die right. But right before you die, man, you get off a grenade and you're dead. It's like, beep, 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 blue. And But the, the grenade <laughs> explodes while you're dead and it kills someone. And you get a kill from the grave. So she's trying to bring them in so that, that she can blow them up. Cersei's <laughs> like, you know what? Either, either you're bluffing because you care more about your optics or you do have a dragon you could completely destroy me and destroy everyone in the city to get to me but if you do that you're going to taint your own legacy and even though i'll be dead and you'll be in charge still it'll still make your rule significantly harder and honestly i'm so petty that that's actually kind of okay with me do you get what i'm saying and she might actually do it man because i don't know you just can't talk sense to her man i <laughs> really don't i really you know one thing that i'm really glad about this show is you can take your own personal life and you can look at your own personality quirks and flaws and strengths even, and you can start associating parts of you to characters, Yeah. right? And me and you both definitely have a little Cersei in us sometimes, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes we can be very hard-headed, especially especially when we were younger. As we're getting older, man, we're chilling. We're, we're getting a lot more chill, but uh, lots of times in life, man, we've been really hard-headed, me especially. I got a head harder than a damn diamond plated and i'm a taurus and i embody that i'm a scorpio mm-hmm. so i'm just i don't know what i am and, uh, and i don't even care about those but as i want as i've been getting older i've been more taurus than ever one thing man is like <coughs> if you're yeah. someone out there you're good if you're someone out there and you get in an argument with someone maybe your significant other and if if you know good and well you should just shut up say sorry and grow up just do it don't be like cersei <laughs> because i got a feeling that it's all gonna come crashing in on her because that's a pissed woman right there. I know. Daenerys Targaryen. You done killed her dragons, you killed her best friend, you done killed, you know, her friend zone, her rebound guy. How did her friend zone die from her? That was the Night King. Yeah, they killed him because they didn't show up to fight. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he's that's out there. Cersei's fault. His old ass just got off grayscale. Like he should be retired <laughs> at this point. He shouldn't be out there in the fight. But he but he's gotta right, he's he gotta go fight because crypts. because Euron's too busy trying to get with Cersei for some reason. Like, for what? Right. I don't know, man. Uh, it's going down in King's Landing, guys. Let us know. Let us know your thoughts on the episode if you loved it, if you freaking hate it. What do we miss? I'm I sure personally, miss in terms of... Oh, like, I love the hell out of and, that. In terms just... of people saying, you know, it's going downhill, whatever. I From a joy... Do I... I enjoyed that standpoint. I loved it. Like, I thought it was fun. I cannot say Masande died, but this is Game of Thrones, people. Do I think the political theater... Do I think the Razor's Edge writing, the brilliant political insights and amazing writing, do I think that a lot of that has toned down and turned into a lot of sword fighting and, you know, time jumps and stuff? I mean, there's definitely truth to that, right? I do think that they're a lot quicker to pick up a sword... Than to talk something out these days you know hypothetically speaking but with that being said man i still ain't seen nothing better well, so well i do have a part i would change i guess you could say in this episode i don't like the, i don't like the year on character well i really don't i'm talking about in this episode in particular i didn't like the brawn situation like like okay i get it he's he's upset about like empty words and empty promises but at the end of the day just because cersei can promise something he knows good and well cersei takes things away too so for him to just like hold things at Tyrion and Jamie, like I thought he was gonna go down there and just be boys with them. Like I thought it was just a a, a way to, for him to get out of King's Landing. It really makes you think of his character a little different. He really was doing it for the gold. Yeah, like he was playing like I thought he was really their buds. I thought they were friends, but he just he he had to maintain that that face, you know. 
Because he is a sellsword after all, but nah, I think he really wants that money. Yeah, which he said, all right, I hope you guys don't die. Bye. Mm -hmm. I'll be right. I'll be waiting for your high garden. But I mean, you know, if you think about it, the man's been fighting his whole life. I mean, like, I totally he get owes it. it to his I family. Totally and his line, you know? I totally get it. But him just showing up in the middle. Where were they at Winterfell? He just shows up in there with a, and they won't even let Arya at the gates. Oh, well, that was, a, you know, that's after the Night King came. So it could be different. Yeah, it's just a tough world, man. It really is, you know. It's really easy to say, well, everyone should just temper their desires, but it's just it's just not the way of this world because, you know, if you want a really big castle and people to respect you and call you Lord and all that, it's not necessarily because you're just a narcissistic person who loves attention. It's because that is what's going to keep your grandkids from getting their heads cut off. Yeah. You know, and so it's just a lot. That's different. what Bronn's basically saying. He said he's done all this fighting and he's ready to just like not have to anymore. Wouldn't it be great if his grandkids didn't have to do all that? You know what I mean? And that's sort of, I totally get a standpoint. I'm just saying it's just weird for him to hear it from Kyburn and Cersei and believe their empty promises and even go over there and do it. If that you're Bronn and you have a daughter, what is she going to do? She's going to end up in a brothel unless you get a castle. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's just. I can understand everyone's perspective at this point. I even understand Cersei's. I really do. Like, yeah. You know. In their own weird ways, because we know all their weird quirks, each character. So, like, we can understand their motivations by knowing them through eight seasons. <laughs> like. Yeah. So, you get to know these people and you get to know. Well, you think you get to know them unless you're Jamie Lannister and then you don't get to know them. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, I, I don't know what to think about Cersei's character. I, I, I understand because, you know. She did come into power. She sat on that seat and she, I guess she lived that life, you know, and it's really hard to just look at someone and say, okay, well, your time's come. Just, you should just give it up because that would just be more peaceful for everyone. Wouldn't it just be great if you just gave it up, you know? Yeah, it's, but it's how easy are you just going to gonna say give it up? You're going to get killed. You know what I'm saying? You're exactly. not just going to give it up. You don't just get off the throne and then go retire. And, and no way is Cersei coming out living after she just did that in a Sunday. Like, this sorry. North Pack. This is what they do over there in the Dwarf Pack, but not over here. Different customs. Guys, I don't know what to say, man. This episode was pretty incredible. Um, there is two more, and I'm just a little concerned because we got a lot, a lot to handle in two episodes. So, Like, is there going to be a whole other war? I it seems like, well, you know how Game of Thrones does. They handle everything sort of comes, and they'll build something up, and then in one battle, it'll get settled. Mm -hmm. And so it seems like they're building up one last battle. It's and that, that's be the bloody. kind of We're lose some good characters, I'm sure. That's the kind of thing about the long night that I kind of was. I mean, unless it matters again eventually, it was kind of weird that we were ready about all these like crazy tales of these night walkers, I mean, of these white walkers and you know, the night king and all this stuff. We've been building this up forever and like it just ends like that. That's strange. Well, I sort of thought the hero of the story, I, my theory has always been is sort of Varys, and the whole thing is maybe the what the the army of the dead is to symbolize that. You know, at some point as humans, we have to put our childish bickering aside and we have to start arguing over whose family lineage and all this stuff that if you actually really think about it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Right. And just like in Lord of the Rings, where you have to be from different realms, but you have to have one common goal. Right? But then they defeated the army. They did it pretty easy. I mean, Euron cost a lot of damage just about as much as the army did, mm -hmm. honestly. And so. Right. The you get whole, what I'm saying? The whole army dead. He came in and just knocked out a dragon. I mean, it took the whole Night King to kill a dragon before. And it right. was so epic. Which, and which he, just, he had a crazy throw, though. I just I don't want to discredit the Night King at all, man. That guy. You're on freaking made a portal, jumped through it, popped out of nowhere in the middle of the ocean and took a <laughs> shot. <laughs> he Dr. Strange him. Right. I, well, I don't even know what I was talking about. What was I talking about, babe? I'm sorry. I just tried. No, you, you're good. I, I don't know. You're man. basically saying how basically the Euron's one little escapade was compared to the Army of Dead War, which was kind of well. Like, I felt like the Army of the Dead was there to scale, show us that scale, we got to put our pettiness behind and we have to evolve and advance as people. And it's really easy to tell that story in this world because it's so medieval and it's very, it's very obvious to sit back as our modern day humans and say hey this is where you guys could improve you know mm -hmm. it's pretty easy for us to say because we've already been through a lot of these periods and stuff and i don't know man i just feel like they they sort of undercut that whole point by finishing off the army and now here we are still battling over the throne it right. almost made it feel like pointless in a way because it almost felt like maybe they should have saved that for last right that's what i kind of thought but i thought I the know. very last episode would be like us fighting then then the very the pilot episode you know basically like right 
But I mean, I'm not saying it's that this way is wrong. I'm just saying that I felt like there's I had a lot of stakes going into that battle, and then this episode kind of like negated all those stakes for me. Right. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that, and like without saying that, I still enjoy this episode. It's like the. I did. It's like the the battle's over, and here we are, same old shit. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, that's yeah. kind of how it, feels, it didn't so. change nobody basically. Basically, yeah. I mean, like y'all it, seen all that, y'all overcame it, and it's like it was just in the past. To be fair, though, what it is doing is and stay with me. It that battle effect. Let me get my thoughts together. That battle changed Daenerys more than anyone. She sacrificed yeah. half her army, dragons, and got no her praise best friend. essentially for it. Exactly. Yeah. The aftermath of that army is really the story here. Yes. The, or that battle right. is actually the story. So maybe right. we're completely wrong on that. And and maybe that that's you're right about that because that honestly would bring fuel to Daenerys's character, like in a in a positive or negative way, we don't really know. Because what we defeat the Night King and we all live happily ever after. We're so euphoric and happy after that. You can keep the throne. You know, no, you keep it. <laughs> you you are awesome out there. You deserve it. Like that don't that don't make sense, right? Right. So maybe maybe I talked a little bit ahead of myself there. Um, but just the point. We just watched it. We're just talking about how we feel yeah, about it. You yeah. can change your mind. Yeah. Via, conversation i don't know it just feels to be honest guys it just feels like it's moving a little fast but like i said i don't think that's because the show sucks i think it's because we just want more of it yeah and definitely i i want more of this so much there's so much that goes into making shows it's it's not just as simple as whatever the director wants it just appears and happens i mean people have wives and schedules and time crunches and people get sick and you know the people at the network start putting their two cents in and they want to change this about the story because it fits this agenda and there's so much that goes into it so yeah like how many times did we hear about like you know a spider-man movie getting completely changed the plot last minute right like, that's exactly what i'm saying in marvel there was so much of that and i learned so much about basically behind the scenes of how a lot like of a different works. way to respect shows i guess just through reading you guys's comments here and there yeah exactly so when things aren't perfect in shows, we're definitely not going to critique them. I'm not interested in critiquing the show by any means because I think it's incredible. I don't think I could do better. Like I, I just, like I said, a rainy day with any other show, uh, I'd rather watch a rainy day of Game of Thrones than a sunshine in another show. Right, and a lot of this, a lot of these thoughts, like that thought, for example, like other people have that sentiment and stuff. So, but I think all in all, man, I think they're killing this. I really do. I think I think Daenerys is so complicated and she's so conflicted. And I think that, I think maybe I've grown to appreciate and understand her position a lot more as we watch this show. Yeah. You know, at first she scared me because she just seemed like someone who was over sure of herself. She seemed very self righteous. You know, I'm not saying what she was preaching was wrong, but, um, you know, it's not like a, it's not like other people haven't had that idea before. It's just not easy to implement because, you know, there's not a lot of incentive and profit in doing the right thing and stuff. So, um. I just think she's a very complicated character. I kind of think that John should just get out of her way. I don't like the idea of John ruling and all that stuff. Well, John doesn't like the idea of him ruling. I don't. Either. I don't He's, like it. But him, him saying his true self is, you know, essentially. Why does he need to tell Arya and Sansa and that the truth about him? Why? Why is it so important? Like, like well, maybe because it's maybe it's because it's his family, and you know, when you when you find out something that's like you know you don't even you thought your dad was your dad and you thought it was also their dad okay if you woke up tomorrow and you realized uh, uh freddy krueger was your uncle or freddy krueger was your dad but you're 30 something years old how much does that really change you have it, this it overwhelming desire changes. to just go tell everyone and well i might tell like my family <laughs> i don't even know if i'd tell my family that if, if that my dad is actually one of the most notorious psychopaths in history i feel like i would have to well, maybe maybe that's because it'd be interesting to you, but if if the stakes were so high that your dad might get his head cut off because of right, it. Right, I know. That that makes it weird. I understand that. But. I just feel like John's too honest. Like there was another moment in this series when he could have just lied. What was it? And you know Oh, when Daenerys told him to bend right. the knee and he's like, I can't do it. I'm like, John, just lie. Just lie, bro. No, Cersei did. But oh, was it Cersei? you know it was yeah, cr yeah. you know what's crazy though is you know, we're like, oh, he's just like Ned. He's so honorable. But if you really want to get down to it, Ned hid that secret from him and everyone. That own secret that he's going to tell someone. So, yeah, from the other point of view, that's kind of nuts because Ned was hiding that from everybody. So just do it out of respect for Ned and keep hiding it. Maybe. I don't Maybe know. John feels like that lie is what's keeping this circle of crap happening. Yes. Like maybe. But also, I the see truth will set too. you free. So anytime in life. 
and I could be wrong, but I don't really feel like too many times in life you should really have to lie, you know? I mean, if your wife is like, yo, do I look fat? Maybe lie, you know? <laughs> but the way I look at it, if I'm in a position where people are asking me to tell big lies and hold big secrets, there's not nothing. Do you get what I'm trying right. to say? I don't know what good. But this is that, also so. coming from someone. I'm going to get in John's point of view for just one second. From someone who has no identity, like has been having identity crisis throughout season one. He's been a wilding, a Night's Watch, a Stark. A Can this, I say something a little that? unpopular that I know you guys are not going to like? What? And and a lot of you people will hate me for this, and a lot of you will feel me. But if you're Jon Snow, who gives a shit about your identity crisis at this point? Well, I totally you can ride get dragons that. and defeat White I Walkers. I totally like, get, get that, over but that's what I'm saying. Crisis. Your identity crisis is going to get everyone killed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's just no time for that. Like, it's this. Sometimes the standards are a little weird in the show. Like, it's such an insensitive, brutal world where there's no time for any type of soft thinking. But at the same time, super concerned about like who your dad is when you never even met the dude. You know what I mean? Like that that part of me is a little inconsistent. I feel like my mentality would be, I don't give a damn who my dad is. I'm gonna make it was Ned. Way. No, it was freaking Ned in my opinion. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, like, like if I was John, it would just be Ned to me because at the end of the day, that's who. But John also couldn't help that his dad got killed and his mom got killed. I can understand if you woke up and you was like, "Hey, Tony, your dad, or you're you're actually part of the Abraham Lincoln family." I'd be like, "Oh, well, you know, that might change a little bit," but you know, because it's not like he's just a bum figuring out who his dad is. His dad's a very powerful person. But do you get what I'm trying to say though? I just feel like at the end of the day, man, all that stuff, John overthinks all that. He's in his head way too much, dude. Just do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. It's just gonna be interesting how all this plays out, I guess. Like just seeing all how John's gonna handle it, how Daenerys is gonna handle this, how anyone's gonna handle this is gonna be insane to see. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm excited for it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Seriously, uh, this show is getting insane. So, obviously, uh, a lot of people's opinions are going to start getting really, what's the word? Passionate, right? People are, this, we're at the point in the show where people's As opinions are starting be, though, to get they super passionate. They should be passionate, whichever way, because I am. Y'all like, spend I love a lot show, of time man. with these characters. So, like, for you to have your opinions, whether they're popular or unpopular, they, they're they important because they're how you feel about it. So right. no judgment here from us. Right. And I'm, I'm definitely passionate about it, man, for sure. Uh, especially because when I say how I feel about it, I get a lot of feedback from a lot of people. So <laughs> it makes me even more passionate. Right. So I can understand that. It's such an amazing show and it deserves all the passion, man, because it's such a complex story. I don't think I realized how complex it was until this moment and I, and I knew it was complex I feel but like I have a whole new perspective on how impossible of a situation they're putting this people, dragon yeah, in there yeah. like, dude what is she they've done to that do? in, to a lot of characters in here though they've just put them in situations where their backs against the wall and now they have to answer a lot but so. not in many situations was it to where like like Daenerys for example like if she quote unquote sticks up for herself defends herself it's gonna make her look really bad yeah and so most of the time like you're rooting for the character to do the right thing that seems so obvious but the right thing for her to do which would be self-preservation is going to result in catastrophe so it's complicated man it's so good so good uh thank you guys so much for tuning in man we are going to finish this show very soon is going to be here like in the blink of an eye so let's go